likes them. What's your fantasy? You know what I think it is? I think you'd like to have someone post a video of this, this, uh, this piece of garbage you call a script on the internet and you think next thing. My name in lights, magazine covers with Miley Cyrus. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. What is your problem? No, 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 I don't have a problem. You got a problem. And I'll tell you what it is. It's right here. It's character assassination. It's called libel. Well, I don't know what you expect me to do about that. I'll tell you what I expect. I expect you to take this guy right here, this, this, this jackass, who's obviously based on me, and I want you to rewrite him from the ground up. Well, that's not exactly your call to make, so... Oh, really? Do you have any idea how much money I gave that school? I can shut down this production so fast and make your head spin. Go ahead, Dad. Make yourself look even worse now than you did back then. See how bad she makes me look? Look at this. Look at this description of me. Is any of it not true? Well, I mean, have you ever heard of provocation? Granted, some of the things I did were... Yeah, like throwing your pregnant daughter down the flight of stairs. Well, that was an accident. And it was... I don't think your script makes that very clear. How about beating the crap out of Cole? Was that an accident too, Dad? Look, it happened. Everything that Langston wrote about. He did go a little nuts. I think the best thing you can do is buy a ticket and sit front row. Why would I do that? Because maybe if you watch the play, you'll see how hard it was for me. Then maybe it'll keep you from making the same mistakes with Annie. Yeah, I've done some pretty terrible things, but only because... Because you know I love you. Well, I love you too, but that doesn't change what happened. No, no, it doesn't. I guess all we can do is just learn from it and be glad that in the end it all worked out. And after everything that was thrown at us, Cole and I stayed together and we have the most beautiful little girl in the whole world. Yeah, I can't argue with that. My dad is pretty beautiful too. All right, this is getting a little obnoxious. So what you're trying to say is that I should concentrate on the ending, the happy ending. Yes, and try to make a better future. Okay, I'll, I'll try it. Okay. <laughs> well, looks like uh, open the night's still on there, Langston. You got the start, I think, for that. Yeah, not just that. Even though you covered for me with Marco after the other stuff you did, you kind of owe me that. What did I do? You tried to get Ford to stop seeing me, and that's not okay. Natalie, how the hell did this happen? I only went to see Ford for one reason, and that's because I care about you. Yeah, but you're not my mother, Star. No, but I'm your friend, and if something was to hurt you and I didn't try to stop it... Yeah, but okay, to stop Ford from seeing me, that's like so high school. You like are in high school. And Ford teaches college, shouldn't he know better? Look, I just wanted to know if he cares about you. Why? I didn't go ask Mr. Joplin if he cared about you. Mr. Joplin wasn't having sex with me. And he knew that I was too crazy and too young to even know what the hell I was doing. Oh, oh so, so you think that I'm just some clueless kid that can't make my own decisions? I guess I'm thinking about what you were doing. I don't think that I'm better than you. But I know when you're not acting like yourself and the minute you start talking about Ford, you don't make sense. I'm, I'm sorry that you think I'm such an idiot. Lang, I'm not judging you, okay? I swear. Well, then you're judging Ford, and that's not fair either. You don't even know him. You're right, I don't. And I'm sure he's really exciting and that he has a lot to offer you. He does. But I know that you love Marco and you don't want to lose him. I think that you're stuck and you don't know what to do, and I'm stuck too. How? Because I love you, and I love Cole, and I hate that I'm hiding this from him, and I needed to fix it. That's another reason why I went to see Ford. Well, what did Ford say about me? The question's more what Ford said about me. Like what? He said that I am a teenage slut who got pregnant in high school and threw herself at Skyler. He said that? Oh, and that was just the beginning. He also tried to convince me that Cole was throwing himself at Hannah. But if you must know what he said about you, he said that you're a woman and not a girl. He told me to stay out of it and that you should make your own decisions. 
Well, what else did he say? That's what he didn't say that bothered me. Well, what do you mean? I asked him point blank if he had feelings for you. And he didn't answer me. Well, a lot of guys don't like to advertise their feelings. It doesn't mean that they don't feel anything. So you think that Ford cares about you? I see the way he looks at me, Star. I'm sure Hannah thought the same thing. No, that, that was different. How? Because he's not into Hannah, he's into me. We understand each other. That's what you used to say about Marco, and when did that stop being important? You didn't set out to ruin my life. That I feel about Marco, we have this connection that'll probably never go away. And I love him, I do. It's just... God, it's been so long since I've been up front with him about anything. And you can change that. How? If he finds out how many times I've lied to him, he'll never speak to me again. So your only choice is to keep lying? No, but... All right, last night, I came home late and he started asking me a bunch of questions. And instead of understanding why, I acted like he had no right to be suspicious. That's so messed up. I know. And that just got worse. He started telling me how much he loved me and how he didn't know what he would do with himself if something ever were to take me away from him. And that's not enough to make you stop cheating? Star, look, I hate what I'm doing to him, but I also hate that somewhere inside he knows it. He's afraid that I'm leaving him, so he's trying to trap me into staying. I almost forgot you were married to Johnny. Marco is being wonderful and telling you how much he loves you, and you're calling it a trap? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm a mess. It's like, the guiltier I feel, the sweeter Marco is, and the worse it makes me feel. I mean, I'd wish he would just be mean. Are you listening to yourself? Langston, you're not making sense. You need to end this now. Yeah, you're right. I'm, I'm going to. Wait, for real? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to break up with him today. Oh, thank God. Four does not deserve you, Langston. Four? No. Sora, I'm not breaking up with Ford. I'm breaking up with Marco. You know, you gave me a big wake-up call the other day.